Well, Iowa has been known for its puppy mills for a long time. It's a reputation some animal activists are trying to change. But now new legislation in the Senate is looking to help, and KCCI's Jason Rantelo has that story. Cocker spaniels coated in urine, feces, and fleas. It's scenes like these that led State Senator Matt McCoy to introduce new legislation meant to crack down on so-called puppy mills. The legislation looks to hand breeder monitoring responsibilities to the state-led Department of Agriculture and away from the USDA. This isn't the USDA's priority. I mean, they're, they're regulating everything, and their focus is, is much more on livestock. Josh Colvin with the ARL agrees and says a state level agency will do a better job following up on violations. I think that's very important for the state of Iowa and for Iowans. I mean, we want to be able to, um, you know, let it to, um, you know, have our state oversee some of these facilities. Senator McCoy says 20% of breeders are considered as puppy mills, a fact Rob heard. This is a bill that is, is a uh, solution looking for a problem says really only amounts to three problem breeders across the state. He says a $7,500 increase in fees is unfair and that the state already oversees the USDA to some extent. They say that the state doesn't have any oversight of the USDA licensed kennels and that's just not so. McCoy says the increase in fees will generate an extra $190,000 for the state oversight. I think most people know this is, a, this is a problem that needs to be resolved and are supportive of, of this solution. Jason Rantler with that story. Now, Senator McCoy also says the bill would not affect private breeders, that is, any breeding operation with fewer than 30 puppy litters. He says it should move out of committee by Thursday and be eligible for debate on the Senate floor by March.